You know, my heart is broken. I'm so sorry you're carrying this. You don't have to hold it all alone. I'm right here, listening. Take a photo and describe the things you see. I see a hand reaching out. Here it is, my parcel from Seed Studio. It's a fairly small box, but what's inside can turn any environment into a smart, AI-powered space that sees, listens, and responds intelligently. Let me show you what's inside. Everything feels premium and well-picked. Here it is, the Senscape Watcher. What a beautiful piece of hardware. It already looks and feels premium. There's actually more inside. A few surprises waiting to be unboxed. The hardware already looks amazing, but honestly, the packaging itself completely blew me away. Two screws, a USB-C type cable, and the mounting base accessories. This is the Senscape Watcher paired with Xiaoji AI. It promises to bring powerful AI capabilities to your smart environment. You get voice control, emotional communication, it can sense moods or expressions, and multilingual support. Beyond that, it supports visual recognition and the MCP protocol for seamless device integration and automation. Because it's based on the open source Xiaoji project, there is room to customize and evolve it over time. Before we start testing, let's quickly go through some of the key technical specifications of the Senscape Watcher. This is powered by the ESP32-S3 microcontroller running at 240 MHz with 8 MB of PS RAM. Alongside it is the HiMix HX6538A processor which combines a Cortex-M55 CPU and a Thos U55 NPU for on-device AI vision and emotion detection tasks. It features an OV5647 camera with a wide 120 degree field of view optimized for a fixed focus around 3 meters, perfect for visual recognition and human presence detection. For connectivity, you get Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz and a Bluetooth 5.0 low energy radio, both running through built-in antennas with a wireless range of up to 100 meters in open space. The front side has a 1.45 inch touchscreen display with a 412 by 412 resolution, a single microphone and a 1 watt speaker, giving it both input and output capabilities. It also includes a scroll wheel with button functionality, an RGB indicator LED and expandable storage via a micro SD card slot supporting up to 32 GB. Inside it picks 32 MB of flash for the ESP32 S3 and 16 MB for the HiMax chip. You also get a Groove I2C port, extra GPIO headers, dual USB ports, one for power and one for programming, plus a small lithium ion baker battery rated at 400 mAh. All of this comes in a compact 69 by 65 by 20 mm enclosure running on 5 volts DC power. The Sinscape watcher immediately stands out with its transparent body design. You can actually see the components and the inner circuitry working together. It gives off a futuristic, almost science fiction vibe like a window into the brain of an AI device. What makes it even more impressive is how versatile it is when it comes to setup. You can place it on a desktop as a smart assistant, mount it on a wall to monitor a room, or even attach it to a tripod for flexible positioning during tests or creative projects. And yes, it can even become the head of a robot. We have seen the design, the details, and the build, but now the real story begins. Before we wake up the Senscape Watcher and test its intelligence, you will need to open the official Sensecraft webpage and register a free account. As you can see, I am already logged in. Once that's done, we can power up the Senscape Watcher by pressing and holding the scroll wheel for a few seconds. Enter the Wi-Fi configuration mode. Next, you need to connect your mobile or laptop to the device hotspot. In my case, I'm using my laptop. As you can see, my laptop is now connected. Now, we need to enter this IP address into the browser and connect the device to your Wi-Fi router or like me to your mobile hotspot. Once it's connected, you will see a green check mark and the device will restart automatically. A code will appear on your device. 
make sure to note it down. Next, go to your registered SenseProf account and click on Watch your agent. Then click on Create. Give your agent a name. I'm calling mine Krypton. Our agent has been created successfully. Now enter the verification code. The device is now bound successfully. Wait for a few seconds for it to finish processing. If you click the gear icon, you will see the assistant's name. You can also change the character's voice. Under advanced settings, you can adjust the speech recognition speed and character speed. Now let's have a chat with Krypton and then we will test its image processing capabilities. Hey, what's up? Just enjoying the crisp autumn air today, the 27th day of the 8th lunar month. And the double ninth festival is just days away. How's your day going? Wow, that's actually pretty good. The response feels smooth and natural, not like your typical robotic voice. It really gives that AI companion vibe, especially with the Xiaoxi engine behind it. Now let's see how smart it really is. I will throw in a quick tech question and see how it responds. What is a resistor? A resistor? It's like a quiet gatekeeper in an electric circuit slows down current just enough to keep things safe and working right. Simple, but essential. Now, this is absolutely mind-blowing. So it's not just for a casual chat, it can handle real educational questions too. The voice doesn't sound robotic at all. It's clear, natural and full of expression. It honestly feels like I'm talking to a real person. Tell me one cool fact about the moon. The moon is slowly drifting away from Earth, about 3.8 centimeters every year. Long ago, it was much closer, and Earth's days were shorter. One day, it'll be too far to cause total solar eclipses. And we'll lose that magic. You can literally chat for hours, ask for your favorite stories, or even request a song. It's like having a friend AI companion that never runs out of things to say. But what really blows me away is the emotional conversationalist mode. It doesn't just talk, it reacts with tone and feeling, almost like it understands your mood. I'm sad. I'm here with you. Sometimes the quiet nights feel heavier than others. Would you like to hear a soft song or just sit in the calm for a bit? You know, my heart is broken. I'm so sorry you're carrying this. You don't have to hold it all alone. I'm right here, listening. And this is where it truly surprises me. The Sinscape Watcher doesn't just hear the words. It actually feels the emotion behind them. The tone of its replay shifts. It speaks softer, more gently. And that's just incredible. It's not just an AI answering questions. It's an AI that understands emotion. Now, let's test its image processing capabilities because the Sinscape Watcher isn't just about voice and emotion. With its built-in camera and on-device AI, it can actually see and understand what's around it. Let's see how smart its vision really is. Take a photo and describe the things you see. I see a hand reaching out, bathed in soft light, like it's holding onto something tender. The room around it feels quiet, almost still. You're not alone in this moment. Take another photo and describe the things. This is insanely accurate. It recognizes objects now almost instantly and what really like amazes me is how well it explains what it sees. It doesn't just identify things, it actually describes them in detail, like it truly understands its surroundings. Now, if you're trying to connect your Sensecape Watcher to the Sensecraft mobile application, you might notice it asks for an EUIN key. I actually reached out to Seed Studios about this and here's what they told me. The version I have is the Sinscape Watcher Xiaoji Edition, which is the latest model developed in collaboration with the Xiaoji team. It's much smarter and more user-friendly, but there is one difference. This version doesn't currently connect through the mobile application. So don't worry if the app 
doesn't recognize your device. It's just because this new version uses a different setup method. Now, let's take a look at some of the pre-trained models available on the SenseCraft platform. You'll find models for emotion recognition, object detection, gesture control, and much more, all ready to test right away. But here's the real power of the SenseScape watcher. You are not limited to just these. You can actually train your own AI models, customize them, and deploy them directly to the device. That means you can teach it to recognize whatever matters to you, your workspace, your pets, or even custom gestures. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.